lockdown. We in, I'm in Florida and stuff, so I know. Hopefully, Ron understands to tell anybody, the world, uh, the World Health Organization or whoever to go f off. We're not locking down. We're not in it going to no more pandemic protocols. We ain't doing none of that crap here in Florida. They want to do that in California. That's basically ground zero for all the monkey pox and all the butt stuff any damn way. So we can put a wall around California, New York, some of the liberal, Chicago, some of the liberal cities and stuff like that. But the rest of the world who ain't gay on going through none of that butt stuff, we don't have to worry about it. But So we are not locking down because you want, you want to do some BS. You want to do some BS, put a butt plug in in two weeks to stop the spread and we be good. I'm, we are not doing that. This is Jesse Water here for the DNC going over some stuff. We're going to review right quick. But right before the Democrats' big day, Kamala made the biggest mistake of her campaign. What's that? She told us what her plans were. Yep. Kamala wants to control the price of food. Yep. I will work to pass the first ever federal ban on pr- price gauging on food. Price gauging on food. Lord help us. Communist 101. My plan will include new penalties for opportunistic companies that exploit crises and break... Nobody does. It's called inflation. Princess Kamala wasn't supposed to have plans. No. Or whatever those plans were, she was supposed to hide them until after the election. Mm -hmm. But now she wants to pick the price of bacon? Kamala knows what a head of lettuce should cost, even though she hasn't been in a grocery store in four years. The princess just Longer waves her magic wand and poof, a loaf of bread's two fifty. Why didn't anyone else think of that? Thank you. Well, a lot of people did. Yeah. And it's been a disaster every Paul time. Marx and, and Soviet Union. Two thousand years ago, Roman Emperor Diocletian Good put reason, in a yeah, yeah. price control, punishable by death. Prices mm. went up, and merchants started selling goods on the black market. Hmm. The Soviets tried it, too. Yeah. That ended in bread lines. Yeah. yeah. Even President Nixon gave it a shot. Hmm. The time has come for decisive action, action that will break the vicious circle of spiraling prices and costs. I am today ordering a freeze on all prices and wages throughout the United States. Yeah, my parents said that that time in the 70s was a a lot of mistakes. Nixon's price freeze triggered shortages and even more inflation. And then 90 days later, he got rid of them. In Venezuela, Hugo Chavez went on a socialist spending spree, which sent food prices skyrocketing. So he had the same idea as Harris and capped food prices. And Venezuela went from one of the richest countries in the world to one of the poorest. Ooh. Price controls. Oh, yeah, less than 10 years. They're just a bad one. It is a device that governments have repeatedly resorted to to try to cover up the effects of their own policies. Yep, their own policy, bad spending habits, and bad government. It is not a cure for inflation. It has never been a cure for inflation. It is. An alleged stop, cure stop, pre- that is far the worse than the disease. In the Fed, one of all the government you know, money, setting stop, food prices didn't work for Rome, the, border, the Soviets, Nixon, or Venezuela. But Kamala thinks she prices. can just wave her magic wand and voila, capitalism disappears. <gasps> this was her campaign's first opportunity to show us her economic vision, and it turns out she's blind as a bat. We all waited a month to hear what Kamala believed in, and she finally told us it's <gasps> communism. Communism. After Kamala said Damn, she was that is a Marcus going to choose the price as well. of cheese, Bernie Sanders released a statement calling it a very important step forward or backward. No, the I princess doesn't list. understand basic math. She thinks supply and demand means when she demands something, the intern supplies it. Kamala's ha! communism would have come out in a primary. And for those Democrats watching, a primary is when politicians compete with each other and yeah. take questions yeah. from voters and tell us what they believe in. Right. But why real democracy, democracy you talk about when coronating a mysterious princess makes it easier on the Democrats and much easier. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, when you have princess Comrade Kamala Harris here, who AK is a drunk or who suited her mind with pills and shit. She never had to give a real true answer to the people. Even when she was running briefly in 2009 to 2020, 
primaries at, for president. It was brief for a reason. She had no real say, no real policies. And what she did as a district attorney and everything in California, San Francisco, was basically a joke. It's the reason why San, oh, San Francisco is a shithole and the whole state of California is a shithole now because of her and her policies and her damn destroying it as well. So do you want California to be the United States? Yes, they do. Because they hate America. They hate, they want communists. They want, you know, any end of the day, they want full government control of the people. They want what China got. They want what the third world country communists have. They want what the Middle East have. They want full control of the people to say and do whatever they want. If somebody say something they don't like, somebody, they can take them out. They can take them real educational camp. You have no freedoms. You have no First Amendment. You have no bills of right. You have no constitution. That's what they want. That they've been telling you, telling us this for years now, guys. So been slowly chipping away at our constitutional rights. As people trade in, say that trade in their old freedom and liberty for so-called BS safety. What do you expect? This is why we maybe have to appeal the 19th. I'm just saying we might have to appeal the 19th, but hey, I'm just talking, right? Fear for her. Kamala can wave her magic wand and build millions of new homes across America. <gasps> By the yes. end of my first term, we will end America's housing shortage by building three oh million God. new homes <laughs> and rentals. Well, the new illegals coming in the country, not you dumbass Americans in behind addition, her. While we work you stupid on the Negroes, sound like your own future. Just don't know any better. You stupid. First time home buyers with twenty five thousand dollars. New illegals gonna get that twenty five thousand dollars. Look at these Negroes. Well, some black home. people are just. just mm. Kamala spent so eight sad. billion dollars. Gotta, we can't save everybody. So be seven it. charging stations. You think she can build three million homes? The guy she's running against builds things for a living. If you want a new home, I'd vote for that guy. Yep, businesses. And she's going to hand anybody who wants to build their first house a check for twenty five thousand dollars. Do you hear that sound? If you What's listen that? closely, that? that's the sound of every home seller raising their listing price Ooh. by twenty five grand. Uh, bank I said it. This just drives home prices up more. Yep. Just like electric cars or college tuition, when the government subsidizes, the price goes up. Yep. And the country goes deeper in debt. Yep. Can't tell Kamala nobody doesn't nothing. care. She's got a wand and a dream. I'm just one of, and she's one gonna one wave one. it until her wrist gives out. She wants to get rid of private health insurance. Poof. And pick the price of drugs. If big Oof. pharma says that's illegal, she'll make their patents. Yep, go they'll make poof. control of everything. Medicare, any drug, housing. Where they food. fail to play by our rules. Oh, I Lord. will snatch their patent. So that we will take over. <gasps> yes, we can do that. We can? Yes, yes we can do that. Ooh, that's yes, we like can do that. Communist to me. And Kamala says that if men and women are paid differently, you're getting fined. For every 1% differential oh, between oh, what they are paying men and women for equal work, oh, my God. there will be a fine mm -mm -mm. of 1% of their previous year's profits. What the? Oh, Lord. That'll get their attention. Oh, Lord. Fines, price My controls, price snatching patents, $25,000 oh, handouts oh, for a couple who just graduated from Harvard and want to scoop up their first starter home. And oh, Lord. This isn't what the machine coronated Kamala. Oh, for. Lord. They wanted a figurehead who yep. would hide in her castle, not share her Marxist ideas with voters. Ooh. The machine can drag this princess across the finish line if she just keeps her mouth shut. Naughty little princess. We've seen it happen in Venezuela. We've seen it happen in the Soviet Union. Price controls just don't work. It nope. expresses a level of economic illiteracy. We've seen this kind of thing tried in lots of other countries before. Venezuela, Argentina, the Soviet Union, etc., it leads to and I, and I paid her little print. Her fucking clip. Um, it's sad when know, they let her just talk how bad it was it without interrupting her. Like this notion that we were going to set price controls and that if we were returning to the 1970s, you can't pay more than, let's say, $2.50 for milk. And if you yeah, know, we're going to charge we the grocery store with some criminal act. And obviously, this hasn't worked, these sorts of policies. Never will. In Venezuela unless you want to accommodate the third world country.
Kamala is supposed to be the puppet princess. And now the media is freaking out because she's telling everybody she's a commie. Obama's economic guru tells the New York Times this isn't a sensible policy. Washington Even Obama Post like, God damn, we're going too far. The Atlantic calls her plan economically dumb. USA Today says, don't fall for it. Charles Gasparino reports Wall Street is working overtime this weekend, warning clients that Kamala is clueless about business. She was supposed to be the corporate America candidate. Ooh, Lobbyists boy. would be telling her what to do. She's not supposed to have any ideas of her own. No. Or at least she's not supposed to be sharing. Hell, yeah, I mean, publicly. And she's promising bread lines and free houses? <sighs> Mostly to the legal. are going to dry up if she keeps telling voters what's going on. Yeah, free house to the legal, bread line for no the more bread everybody else. From the if, princess, if unless that. it's approved by the... And bread line is... And we do get the bread lines. It's going to be for the Democratic cities and states. Anybody who voted for Trump or Republicans or MAGA, you ain't getting bread lines. They're going to come around our asses, though. We doing all the work. We ain't getting no bread lines. We gonna be in a camp. We gonna be in a re-educational camp. They're not gone. The bread line is only for the few they like. Even for Antifa or these crazy leftists, ain't gonna see the bread lines because they're gonna be just like us. Gone. People don't understand how dangerous and how effed up this truly is. And like I say, play this to people that say I don't vote for Kamala because she's a woman. But I know you need to understand what you're getting yourself into because once you get this in. Nobody is going to be coming to save your ass once this shit collapse and fall. You better know how to take care of yourself. You better know how to hunt, train. You better know how to do some, other, be some real skills. This shit is not a joke. Tell these people, hey, do you understand? Both for her, you, it's communist. It could be bread lines. It's going to be bad for the country. If they still don't care, cut your losses, guys. This, this cut your losses, but people. Don't want to hear shit. Like I said, we're not here to save everybody. But people are just going to don't care. I'm just going to vote for a country woman. He black me blacks. Oh, she a black woman. Cut your losses with these people. Because some people are just going to be ignorant and stupid their whole, their whole life. They don't want to be told nothing. They don't want to bring a new information. They don't want to be in hell in new information. They're going to be like, nah, doing my research. I said, nah, you're right. I, don't, I, I ain't down with none of this shit. I can't vote for Trump, but I ain't vote for her. If they're still just going to be stuck on stupid, leave them alone, guys. Cut them off. I don't care who it is in your family, friends. Got to leave some people. Leave some people behind. We are not here to save everybody. There's a few that might want to be like, oh, I didn't know that. Let me take a look. I'll look into it. Some of them will be like, I don't care. She a woman. She black. Cut your losses, guys. Stop, stop talking and dealing with those people. They're gone. Media and donors. They were the ones who whacked Biden. And they can whack you too, princess, if you talk without their permission. Mm -hmm. Kamala will probably get out of this by doing what she's done her whole career. Did I say price control? I don't believe in that anymore. Kamala's already in the White House. Mm -hmm. She could do everything she's campaigning on today. Yep. So why isn't she? Oh. Yesterday, Kamala laid out her so-called economic plan. She says she's going to lower the cost of food and housing starting on day one. But day one for Kamala was three and a half years ago. Yes. So why didn't she do it then? I love this shirt. So this I have PTSD. Pretty tired of stupid Democrats. I'm <laughs> in a black shirt right here. I want this so shirt. Why isn't she doing Pretty it tired of stupid Democrats. I need that shirt. God knows. Get away I do. from her nice little place with her wonderful husband. Go to Washington and do it now. You could do it right now. Host of Making Money on Fox Business, Charles yeah. Payne. Why don't you do it now? Here. Charles, how yeah. big of a mistake was this from Kamala Harris? Gargantuan. Gargantuan. Because it's not news to anyone who's been paying attention to her for, you know, throughout her political career. Yeah. It's not news, but they spent the prior two or three months repackaging her without her talking, right? Everyone said with this, she had turned over a new leaf on everything. From fracking to, 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 to uh, confiscating weapons. Weapons. I mean, she, no somehow she just had this amazing epiphany. 
Now, we remember President Obama, it took him a long time to, quote unquote, evolve on marriage. But she had these epiphanies day after day after day, and she was it was working. Her numbers were going through the roof in the polls. I'm so thrilled. I am so happy that she went back to who she was, that she admitted that. Yep. By the way, she admitted it with her pick for VP. Jesse, let me read you a headline. Why price control should stay in the history books. This was written on March 24th, 2022 by the Federal Reserve, <laughs> okay? So they sensed. See, here's the thing. When you start printing free money to the degree that this administration did and triggering uh, inflation that we thought would never happen again, the next thing that these folks typically do is to cover up. You played a clip already. I think it was Milton Friedman. The yep. cover up. Milton this is Friedman. the cover up now. Yep. Blame everyone, the cover up is worse than the except... crime, Charles. Yep, it is. Because right. it's just right. going to make exactly. inflation worse. Explain to people who don't understand this as well as you do why the government can't just say carton eggs is going to be 350 and we're going to fine or arrest anybody who raises it over that. Well, they can say it, and then that means the producers who spend a lot of money to create that carton of eggs stop producing them. And so, you know, supply and demand dictates typically normally dictates price. Right. The more yep. money chasing few goods, price goes up. That's why when they put out all those stimmy checks, all that money hitting the mall at the same time, prices went up and 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 went up. And went up and they stayed up right because they keep pumping in money and so now the idea is that we will make it prohibitively uh, uh you know uh, unprofitable, uh, unprofitable to pre produce these items so we won't produce them and by the way yep, they won't we produce, will yep. also produce life-saving medicines either yep. because it takes at least three to five years and three to five billion dollars to have an idea for a drug and get it to market and then you have a very small That's window to make that stuff. money back yep. as a mm -hmm. drug company so we're talking about dismantling America. They do not like America. They do not like capitalism. And nope. they're telling us that right to our face. 100%. Like I said, guys, now this speech, she, when she does speak Thursday night to cap off the Democrat National Convention, oh, she's going to come out with a whole new, oh, I mean this. Oh, I meant this. Uh huh. Can't believe that lie. Don't bet. Don't believe it. Believe them when they tell you who they are. Believe them. Believe them the first time they say something. Cause this is, oh man.